Aaron, how much do you think the offense is just really feeding off of each other right now? Yeah, um, look, we talk about the abat quality and, and it, it continues to uptick. You know, I, I had a chance, you know, obviously anytime you, you score eight runs, it's a big offensive output and a lot of guys having a hand in that. But it's another one of those games where it could have been even more just by the amount of, you know, heavy at bats uh, up and down the order. And, um, you know, it's it's good good to see these guys really, you know, starting to get a little bit of that swagger and just we got to continue it. Nice to have some momentum heading into a big series in Boston this weekend. Yeah, no question. Um, you know, to you know, to lose a tough one that first first game of this series, and for the guys to bounce back like they did um, in comeback fashion last night, um, to finish it off this afternoon, you know, heading into Boston, um, <clears throat> definitely uh, definitely a good thing heading into the weekend. No question. And what did you think of Tyone this afternoon? I thought he was really good. Um, I, I, I thought thought him and Gary were really good together. I, lo I, I, I The sequence of pitches that they used, I thought they made a lot of good decisions in, in critical counts. Um, I thought his curveball was, was, you know, as good as I've seen it. You know, I thought it, he sharpened it up a little bit. It was a factor. But, again, you know, mixing all his pitches, the slider, the changeup, both – the two seam and the four seam fastball, so keeping them a little bit unpredictable, uh, you know, pounding the strike zone, um, and, and really, you know, executing some pitches in some spots that I thought was really good. Jake Siner, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, this is the uh, the first win for you guys by more than four runs in over a month. I'm just curious. Uh, I don't know if needed is, is something you guys feel there, but what's the the feeling on that? Does it feel like it's been a while since you just had a game where you kind of into the finish like that yeah it it does it does feel like like that you know you, we've we've obviously played a ton of close games this year um which which i believe is going to serve us well uh moving forward um but it is nice definitely to to have these type of games where you can build a lead you know we've used our pen quite a bit and, and obviously heading into a weekend series. So kind of wanting to stay away from some guys today, a little bit of a reset, you know, for JMO to go out and pitch into the seventh inning and then Nestor to come in and, and do what he does. You know, those, those are coupled with the lead leverage we had. That's, that's big. That's big. And you, and you need those, especially when you're in a long stretch of games like we are right now. Matthew Robertson, please unmute. Aaron, with uh, with Gary hitting third now and hitting the ball the way he's been hitting it, uh, how have you seen pitchers try to attack him differently, knowing a how well he's hitting the ball, but now also knowing that Stanton and Voigt are behind him again? I don't think much different. Um, I just think he's in better position to handle it. They're they're attacking him like they did when he was, you know, say before this and hitting down in the order or, or struggling a little bit. They're they're still going after his weaknesses because, you know. They've always known how dangerous he is, even when he was going through a tough time. He's 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 absolutely plugged up some holes, though. Um, but I think how teams are attacking him, I don't think has changed much. Roger Rubin, you have the next question. Aaron, in in terms of the way that you guys have played the last nine games, I mean, how close are you to looking like the team that you expected you would be you would be? We're getting closer, um, but uh, you know, I think, I think we we expect a lot in that room, and those guys expect to be a great team, and and we're not there yet. And um, but there's no doubt um, that you know they're getting closer and closer to that, and 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 working really hard behind the scenes to to get to that point. We're we're obviously starting to see more results after going through a, a difficult stretch. But it's a confident group that expects a lot, and uh, and we'll keep uh, we'll keep fighting to try and get to that point where we're the team we want to be, and hopefully that's not till the very end. And and just one other thing, you know, I, I don't know if this is an anomaly or if it's or if it's reasoned, but when Voigt's in your starting lineup, I think you guys are eleven and four. Do you believe that there is cause and effect between the team's success and Voigt being in the lineup? even though his numbers are not spectacular? Yeah. Um, yes. There's no question he's a presence. I think, you know, before returning this time, when he came back the first time, 
we, we still weren't, weren't scoring a ton of runs. It was more, you know, our pitching and defense was really carrying us through a, through a really nice stretch of games where we're winning a lot of low-scoring games. Um, but I think there's no question that when Luke Voigt is healthy and in our lineup, it's another heavyweight, you know, in, in the order and, and adds length to our order and is just another elite, you know, power bat to have to get through. So um, his presence is huge. You know, we talk about adding length and, and being a heavy lineup, and, and he he's right in the middle of all that.